Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the spring 2020 FabFitFun edit sale tips, tricks, and product review video for you. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I record my computer screen. I go through what I do to help me pare down my cart. I look to see if things are cruelty free to a level that I like to hold for myself and you can make that decision for yourself. I check ingredients, so I'll, I'll go through how I check ingredients. And if you are not new to my channel, I will put a timestamp in the description box below to where I just am talking about the edit sale so you don't have to sit through what you've already seen. I do that for every video for the people that are new. And then on top of that, I will show you my cart, but my cart is not a final. I just really want to get this video done for you. I never have a problem finding things that I want to buy in sales. And I always start at like $3,000 and right now I think it's at about 600 and something you'll see. So my cart is not final and I might do a final cart video later, but my cart's not final. So I will show you the things that I'm seriously considering buying. And then I will go through as usual and I will talk about every product as much as I can in the sale. If I don't know anything about a product, I'll just kind of breeze over it and say I don't know. So if you're new my channel. I hope that this is really helpful for you. I hope you consider subscribing and saying hello. If there's anything that I say that you disagree with or you heard differently or you just want to talk more about, please, please, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the, in the comments below and start a conversation. I love talking things out. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy watching and let's get into recording my computer screen. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen. This is obviously the edit sale. One of the first things that I look for is to, I check if a product is cruelty-free or not. Now, I went cruelty-free with my beauty products about a year ago when I learned, when I actually joined FabFitFun and I got more into this and I learned that animal testing was still very much a thing in the beauty product world. And I actually, I will be perfectly honest, I first started doing it mostly because it also helped me save a lot of money. I could easily ax a lot of things from my cart based on looking into whether or not they're cruelty free. So this is obviously, uh, I'm on the edit sale page right now. I will show you my favorite resource for checking to see if something's cruelty free. So we're just gonna take Erno Laszlo. I happen to know that they are not cruelty free. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go to cruelty-free-kitty.com. Uh, all the uh, URLs to the websites that I'm gonna talk about, I will put links in the description box below so that you don't have to remember them right off the bat as I'm going through this. But so right on the home page of Cruelty Free Kitty, there is, if you scroll down just a little bit, there's a search box. So you just type in a uh, product name here and it will pop up and you select it and then you search and it comes up with this little brief assessment on whether or not the company is cruelty free. So you see Erno Laszlo is not cruelty free. They entered the Chinese market on in 2017 and the Chinese government requires animal testing on products by law in certain situations. So uh, their products are subject to animal testing. So I would not purchase from Erno Laszlo. Those com those products are not in my cart. Uh, there there are also some brands. Let's go back to the homepage. So there are like different tiers of being cruelty free. There are some that are just straight up not cruelty free, like Erno Laszlo. They are sold in China, and then there are some brands that are owned by companies that aren't cruelty free, but the brands themselves aren't sold in China, so they're not cruelty or they are cruelty free in a sense. For instance, Tarte. Tarte is cruelty free. So you'll see that. And then there is usually a sentence though where it says, although Tarte is cruelty free, they're owned by a company called Coe's a company that tests on animals. So you can decide how strict you want to be with yourself if you want to go cruelty-free. I try my best not to even buy from companies like Tarte that are also owned by a company that does test on animals. Uh, you can check PETA as well, but uh, I noticed that PETA does certify companies like Tarte that are owned by other companies that aren't cruelty-free. So they, um, they will certify a brand, but you don't necessarily know if they're owned by a company that isn't cruelty free if you check just PETA. 
So um, this is my favorite uh, reference guide. It seems to be the most thorough of the ones that I have found. Um, then I, uh, yeah, so that's that's one way that I eliminate things from my cart. I check to see if they're cruelty free. You will find that a lot of the newer brands are not on this website because it's just not on their radar yet. And for those brands, what I do is I go directly to the brand website. And usually if the brand is cruelty free, they will take the opportunity to brag about it and it will be very, very obvious that they are cruelty free. And um, if they have just one simple sentence that says, we, we will never allow our products to be tested on animals, that means that they are cruelty free. There are some brands where they will say we are strictly against animal test testing except where required by law, those brands aren't cruelty free. So that's the first thing that I check. And then another thing that I like to check is I like to go to skincharisma.com, which is an amazing website to help analyze ingredients for your beauty products. If you have been wanting to learn how to eyeball ingredients, this is a great way to get started. You can also create a login for yourself so that you can <clears throat> tell this website what you what ingredients you want to look out for and it'll help and what kind of excuse me, and what kind of skin type you have, and it will help flag, flag things for you even uh, more. So I do have a login, but there isn't very much customized in there, so there's no point in showing you right now. But if you go to skincharisma.com and you click here on the cosmetic analyzer, it'll take you to this little uh, field where you can plop in ingredients for, for a product and it'll tell you about it. So we are gonna go back to the edit sale and let's just let's just look at this Erna Laszlo product some more. So I'm going to, going to copy the ingredients. I'm gonna go back to the cosmetic analyzer and paste them in here. And then I'm gonna click analyze product. And it thinks and it spits out this little report and it has a see this is ingredient analysis results a lot of times it comes out with a fungal acne um, warning so you see all these green check marks are things that it are good about it and then little X's show things that it detects and then if you go down a little further there's a little risk calculator and then even further it tells you what ratings are given to each of the individual ingredients now this is based off of two different uh, rating systems one is the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, which I've heard kind of mixed feelings about. And then another one. Uh, uh, so what I've heard is that, you know, some people say it's not accurate. They don't dig deep enough, um, especially more science minded people, actually. Um, but and then uh, some people swear by it. So I don't I don't really know, but that's what it is. And then there's the Cosmetic Ingredients Review. So they each have a rating and they obviously here they don't always agree on what ratings to give to certain ingredients. Now the EWG, okay, so this is about as much as Skin Charisma will give you. They will also on this side tell you, let me see if I can zoom in here. They will tell you if something's bad for a certain thing. So like here, glycerin, good for dry skin. Butylene glycol, good for dry, dry skin, and it checks out as an ingredient with both of those sources. Uh, here's a fungal acne trigger, polyglycerol 3, methyl glucose distillate, and so on and so on. So it'll show you a little bit more there. So the EWG is, the, as I said, the environmental working group. If you want to dig even further on each of these individual ingredients, if it gets flagged, you do have to either just kind of do a Google search and learn a little bit more, um, or you can go directly to the EWG website and see what they have to say about it, which is right here. Actually, I need to go to their skin deep database. So it's ewg.org slash skin deep. And you can put the ingredient right into this search box and search it. And we'll show you a little bit more about why they have that rating for that ingredient. And then the same with the cosmetic ingredient review. It's right here. If you go to ingredients, 
So cirsafety.org slash ingredients. Again, these links will be in the description box below, but you can put the ingredient name. I've obviously searched this one. This is an ingredient I happen to know is not good for sensitive skin. So if you see that in your products and you have very sensitive skin, I would recommend steering clear of it um, or doing spot tests if you get something with that ingredient in it and you have very sensitive skin. So you can go and you can search a little bit more. This has a PDF reports that you can look at. But again, this is just a great way to get to a point quickly where you can start to eyeball, eyeball ingredient lists for what you personally want to avoid for yourself. So... And then sometimes I'm not satisfied with either of the ratings and the information on either site, and I will just do a Google search and see what else I can find. So that's how I check ingredients, and that's how you can check ingredients for yourself. Now, um, the third thing that I do is I will also go to a brand's website, and I will just kind of poke around and see if I get a good feeling. I'll read their about page, their FAQs, and if I get a good feeling, about from the brand and it seems nice and and then um then that helps me and then I also obviously which we all do is check for reviews and make sure that it has at least a four star rating or above if I'm interested in a product product before I kind of seal the deal and decide that I want to purchase it. So those are the things that I do to uh yeah to decide. Anyway, um okay, so now I wanted to give you some tips and tricks, especially if you're new to FabFitFun, not just to my channel, but if you're new to FabFitFun, just some tips and tricks on navigating the sale. When I was new, I didn't know anything. So we are going to uh, look at this. So <clears throat> I uh, highly, highly recommend going to the FabFitFun forum and reading the uh, during the sales that will be excuse me, there will be a post, a, a thread. Okay, here, let me show you the main page of the forum and how to get there. Okay, so if you go to the homepage of FabFitFun, there's this community tab right here. Let's zoom in. Community tab right here. And then if you click forum, that will take you to the main page of the forum. Here on the right side are all of the forum threads where people are chatting with each other, basically. Now, what I like to do is I like to read every sale. The staff start a thread called Spring 2020 Edit Sale or whatever edit sale, insert, <laughs> insert season and year edit sale or add on sale, your questions answered every season. Um, so you can, I, I follow that one. And then usually some awesome person, us, a FabFitFun citizen, if you will, starts another thread. And this one, it's called just a review thread, like that the, that the customers go and talk to each other. So this is the spring edit 2020 reviews. I have been following both of those threads. Those are typically the two threads, threads that I follow. Sometimes there are more that get created during the sales that I really get into. But uh, right now, those are the only two that I'm following. And unfortunately, I feel like when I first joined, people would be much more active on the edit, the reviews thread. I, they're not being very active, actually less and less so since I joined and I joined the fall of 2018. So anyway, uh, the here is the spring 2020 edit reviews tab uh, that I have open to that thread ready to show you. I um, have been following this one. You can see I'm pretty much up to speed on the posts in this one. And then I have also been th following the first thread I pointed out, which is the your questions answered that the staff start. And you can go and you can ask any questions you would like, and the staff hopefully will get back to you. They're a little bit bombarded on this thread with questions from the customers, but they do their best to get back to us. So for instance, there's, you know, it's unclear on what products are actually in some of the bundles. So you can go on, you can post your question and say, can you please clarify? And somebody will be able to get back to you, uh, hopefully within a day with an answer. So that's another uh, tip that I have to navigating the sale, get into the forum and get to talking to the other customers. They're really awesome. I've seen some really like sweet, conversations happen. I've also seen some really negative ones, so let's try to keep it positive. But um, anyway, so those are the 
threads. That's my my first tip for navigating the sale within FabFitFun itself. Now, um, a couple of more, a couple more tips. One is that I like to check. Let me get back to one moment. I want to pull this over here. So I mentioned that the search box is gone. So that is a big bummer. People are really unhappy about that. I've been getting around it by just using the topic um, buttons to search and, and narrowing it down that way so that I can get to products more quickly. Uh, but it is, I hope they bring that search button back that, or that search feature back. That was, that was really, really wonderful. Um, one thing I want to point out, which they brought back, I don't believe I saw it in the last sale, this little last call tab right here, if you click that, that will show you products that are unlikely to show up again in an upcoming sale. Actually, it's not even working. It's not working. I wonder, oh, leave a comment in the comments below if you have tried to click it this time because I haven't seen it in the past couple of sales. And I wonder if when they took away the search box, they reverted to an old web code that brought back a null link for last call. Anyway, it's not working at all. So I'm not going to talk about that. Pretend it's not even there. Um, so my tip, though, for dealing with a lack of a search uh, function is to at least go into the categories so you can narrow it down that way. Um, another tip, and you will hear if you go to the form, especially you will see people talking about, you know, add it to your favorites, play the refresh game, all of that. It's very frustrating when you're new and you go on and it's like everything's already out of stock. There's nothing here that I want anymore and you want to walk away thinking well that was that was pointless but something that you can do is if you're going through the sale and say I don't know say you really want let's try to find something that's out of stock actually let's I had one there let's add this and this and this and this. Those things are all out of stock. So I just favorited them by clicking on the little heart here. You can see this heart's red and this one's not. So that means those have been added to my favorites list. So you can get to your favorites by going up here and clicking my favorites at the very top. So I'm going to click my favorites and it's going to show everything that I have added to my favorites. And you can go there and this is the refresh game. You can just keep click keep clicking refresh, hoping that somebody will dump one of these things from their cart right before you've clicked refresh and you can go down and hurry up and snag it and get it into your cart. And that is an, a ridiculously good feeling. It's a little bit sad, but it's a ridiculously good feeling when you finally get something that you've been waiting for. I was hoping one of these things would show up so I could really show you, but it's not, none of these are showing up. So that's how you can snag things that you really, really are waiting for. And I highly recommend if you're still having no luck, if you look in the last couple hours of the sale, that's when people really go in and clear out their carts. Oh, see, yeah, this became available. So yay, I just was able to snag it and put it in my cart. This is the Marianella Black, uh, Mar Hawaiian Black Lava Body Caviar, which I don't actually want and I will talk about later. Um, so I'm gonna actually dump it so that somebody else who really wants it can grab it right now. Now, um, okay, so that's the my favorites. So now we are just going to go on over. I believe that's all of my tips for navigating the sale. We are going to go over to the uh, sale now, and I am going to show you. This is my cart right here. Um, let me close these other tabs so I don't get thrown off. Oh, I didn't want to close that one. Actually, I'm going to show you something later. I'll have to bring it back up again. Okay, my cart, like I said, is not at all final. Uh, it is harder with these shortened shopping win windows to learn as much as I want to uh, and to share everything with you. So I, I didn't get a chance to finalize my cart uh, in time for when I wanted to film this video, which is right now that I'm filming it. Um, so you're just going to look at my cart as it is with me right now. 
It is now at $642. I always try to get it under 200, depending on what's going on in my life. Under 200 is usually what I can afford, especially because this is kind of the only place I ever buy beauty products. Um, I have a couple of other subscriptions that aren't very, very expensive. And between those and this, I really never need to buy any beauty products. So let's get started. I have been wanting to try these London Town nail polishes for a very, very long time. I love having nice manicured painted nails and I am pregnant right now. I just entered my eighth month of pregnancy, so I have not been painting my nails. Most nail polish is quite toxic, but I've been getting into the uh, nail polishes that brag about being free from um, toxins. So I want to actually show you their website. I am not sponsored by them, but I have been curious about them for a long time. I'm excited to finally see them in the sale again. It's been a couple of sales since I have seen them. So I want to just show you that this, I believe they are something like 18 free, which means they are free of 18 of the of 18 chemicals that we um, don't want in our here. Oh, nine free. Oh, I don't know where I got 18 free. I apologize. So nine free. They are nine free. Formaldehyde. They don't have formaldehyde. All of these things right here. <laughs> they don't have any of those things. So that's really great. And that's something that I would feel comfortable using even now during pregnancy. So um, they don't have any of their nail occurs with colors in the FabFitFun sale, but I am um, really excited. They're also cruelty free, obviously. I am really excited to uh, try them out and I will probably go ahead and just purchase a color or two directly from their website. This is the uh, nail base and top coat. So. I've talked a lot about those. So I will move on. I have uh, some of their other products in my cart as well. I'm I'm just excited to not be pregnant anymore and and start really painting my nails again. I just yeah. Um, okay, so this is the Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Exfoliant. This is one of my two favorite Grown Alchemist products I have ever tried. I have tried many. Uh, Grown Alchemist is a really, really well-loved brand. They are based in uh, Australia. They are cruelty-free botanical, excuse me, cruelty-free botanical, vegan, you see, certified organic. This is all true. Sometimes I have noticed there are errors in the FabFitFun descriptions. So if something looks off, definitely question it and look into it, look into it yourself. But this is my favorite of the Grown Alchemist products, one of my two. The other one is their cream cleanser, which is basically this without the exfoliating beads. So they're pretty much, they're practically, they're very, very similar. Anyway, I'm maxing out on this. I'm very excited to see it in the sale again. This is a very, very well loved, raved about product. I have never tried it. It has been, it hasn't been in sales for a little bit. I'm seeing a lot of products that I haven't seen in a few sales from maybe last year that are popping up in this sale. So it's kind of nice to see some of the oldies but goodies. They did it, they also did it with the, the spring add ons in the box, especially. Some people don't really like that so much that they're bringing back some of these oldies but goodies. Um, and it, it seems to be a deliberate theme with FabFitFun for this season. But anyway, I am thinking about having this on hand. Um, it supposedly works very, very well for minor aches and pains. I love this foot cream. Hey, honey, walk the walk. It does have propolis in it, which comes from bees, so it is not vegan if that is something that you're interested in knowing. I This foot cream is wonderful. It's my favorite of all foot, foot creams that I've used, and I haven't, I haven't used that many, but it's my favorite. And it just is – with foot creams, they're just a – a little bit more moisturizing than a regular body cream. So you could just use your body cream or if you have a really moisturizing body cream, it's really not necessary, but I am a, I'm a girl who's a sucker for things like that. Um, I'm curious about this Luxme thing, this Luxme brand. I have a little bit of a story. I had a Luxme uh, bomb, their shea butter that I got in a past box sitting on my desk at my new job. I just started a new job a couple of months ago. And one of the um, 
one of the big cheeses uh, from upstairs, quote unquote, actually literally upstairs, but from upstairs, <laughs> if you will, came into my office to introduce himself. And he saw it on my desk and, desk and he said, that's really interesting that you have that. I know the founder. I have a picture of me holding her as a baby. She just passed away last week. And this was a couple, this was six, this was almost two months ago. So she just passed away a couple of months ago now in real time. Uh, from some sort of, sort of cancer. I don't, I, oh, I feel terrible. I don't remember what, but he just went on to rave about what an amazing person she was. And she really focused her company on giving employment to women who need it in areas that they needed it. So she was Indian herself and um, she just, she did a lot for women, women and I just, kind of want to, I hope that whoever is running the company now is continuing that kind of a leg legacy. So I'm, I'm considering that it has good reviews. I believe on Sephora it was. I, when I check reviews, so speaking of reviews, what I like to check is I, yeah, Sephora. So it has a four and a half star rating on Sephora. I love seeing reviews on Sephora. I love seeing reviews on Ulta and I love seeing reviews on Influencer. If I see reviews on Amazon, you have to make sure to read those because a lot of times it's muddied by people who are complaining about shipping time or customer service or something like that. Or when it comes to beauty products, Amazon, there are so many sellers that are are selling phony beauty products. So they could have gotten a phony and then it's muddying up the actual overall rating. So if you're checking Amazon, definitely read the reviews as well. This is more London town. I already talked about them. I may or may not get this one. This is brush guards. I have often thought how the, I'm new to using brushes and doing makeup that's more than just, you know, mascara, lips, and eyebrows. So I have started to wonder how would I ever travel with brushes? And so I'm thinking about getting those. Kalos is another really wonderful uh, brand. It checks off all of the boxes that I mentioned before. Um, it's women owned. It's a few years old. I believe the woman might be, I think she might be Pakistani. Uh, I go to her website. It's something, one of those country, one, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she, oh, I feel like I put my foot in my mouth, but I didn't. She, I think she might be Pakistani and she does a lot as well for women's education, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure I remember correctly. Um, but you can go and read about their website. This particular product has lots and lots of amazing reviews. This, I went back and forth about getting the last time it was available in the sale and this, the reviews are really, really good. I want to, I want to show you the pictures. The reviews are really good here. The reviews are really good and it just looks really pretty. I don't know. I, this is one of those things where I will probably toward the end say, I really, really don't need that. Um, oh, okay. So it does only, it only has one review. I thought offhand, I thought there were a few more. Um, and this is Ofra's website. Okay. So I thought there were a few more, but uh, it has one good review. Sorry, I'm kind of taking you along while I research a little bit too, because like I said, it's been a little bit tough to do all the research that I want to do in the time frame that I've, I've been given. So this is the one that they have available in the sale. Okay, here we go. This is where I saw it. 85 reviews, four and a half stars. And this is the picture that I saw where you see one leg without it and one leg with it. This is their sun-kissed color. And I believe that's the color that's actually available. So this might actually be a reason I would delete it from my cart because I, this is not, this is, this is, I am not anywhere near this dark. I am much paler. So if this is skin, sun kissed, I want, it says it's stunning on all skin types though. So just so you know, the model that they're showing it on is, Dark, ha, does have a darker skin tone. And that's the color of it. Uh, but it says it works on all skin tones. Even skin, yeah. 
and I just think it looks really, really pretty. Um, okay, so I may or may not get that. <laughs> this is going to be a long video. Uh, people really say wonderful things about the Ofra highlighters. Um, again, this is something that I will... I, my, I will probably dump as I'm trying to get my cart down. I mentioned that I'm pregnant. Green Goo, people love their products. If you if it's in my cart, you can assume it checks off all those boxes that I talked about earlier. Um, I don't know if I'll get this because by the time this box get here, what was going what with what's going on with the coronavirus and everything, it might the baby might be here, so there might not be any reason for me to get this one. Uh, so I will probably delete it just because I can't guarantee that I'll get it in time. Um, this one is, this is vitamin, this is a uh, retinol, I believe. Is that vitamin A? Vitamin A, yeah. This is a retinol product. I have been waiting for people to put more reviews out there on the Gaia products. I have not seen enough for me to really want to buy any of them and take that uh, plunge. This is their website. I am not even seeing, <clears throat> let's see if the skin one has, oh, it's not even on their website. It could be a new product of theirs. Okay, so that product's not even on their website. Sometimes I feel like companies will use us as FabFitFun members as a little bit of a guinea pig for newer products that they are coming out with to see what people think and how they react. Uh, that's and that's especially when some things are so cheap. But uh, so that's this is a retinol product. Um, I love retinol. I, again, I'm pregnant. I can't wait to use it but based on what I just couldn't find which is I can't even find this product on their website I'm going to delete this what they do have some products actually in this sale that people have been talking about on the forum that I will talk about in a little bit um here is the green goon nursing comfort I do plan to nurse and I I will likely get this one so while I'm at it I'm going to go ahead and delete the belly balm because I don't know if that'll come in time mud masky is a dutch company and they are, uh, they're PETA certified, so they're cruelty free. They do say that I have looked into them before. They've been in sales before. They have a couple of products. They have one star product, and then the rest of them, the rest of their products don't have as many reviews. So this one, wow. $52.95. So I do like their um, website. I do like what I see. I just haven't seen enough reviews or people talking about their products to really take the plunge and get them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and delete the mud masky. Sorry, I'm using this as an opportunity to um, delete some of their stuff. I don't think that their star product, product that I mentioned is in here in this sale right now. These are just some of their other products that don't have... Uh, as many reviews. Again, please, please, please speak up if I am saying something that doesn't make sense to you or that you disagree with and you have found reviews, please share with the people watching and talk to each other and to me. Uh, the Lowly Plum Elixir. So I discovered plum oil last year. There was a plum oil that was sent to me, Le Prunier is the name of it, in my Petiver box, and it is the most heavenly oil I have ever used. I have tried a simple of this, a sample of this lowly one, and it is. I like it almost as much. It, I, the smell of plum oil is a little bit uh, cherry like, and I, my, my senses love it. I love it, love it, love it. This one also has like. A nuttiness to it that is just fine but I think that I liked the purity of the other plum oil a little bit better so that was why I liked it better but some people would probably pick this one over the other one as well this is an amazing oil plum oil feels so good <laughs> putting it on your skin I don't know why uh, specifically plum oil um, and it's kind of a good best-kept secret so I am going to get one of these. 
more London town. The Urban Skin RX products have wonderful reviews. Tons and tons of wonderful reviews. I have one product by them, and to be honest, it was a little bit odd, and it's available in the cell in a bundle. It's not available on its own, but it is available in a bundle. But this product has tons of great reviews on the company's website. I talked about reviews before. I also like to see reviews not just on the company's website, um, somewhere else, but you can see here on Ulta. The packaging's different. It's the same thing. That kind of weirds me out a little bit too when FabFitFun has different packaging. You wonder how old their stock is. But this is it. It's got over four and a half stars with something like 125 reviews on Ulta. So 93% uh, of respondents would recommend it. So Look, love this so much. Yeah, it smells amazing. It smells like fall. People were saying it's uh, here. It smells like pumpkin pie. It smells like fall. So uh, I am curious about this one. I, I never have trouble finding things I want to buy in these sales. So this is a very new company. Uh, why a woman, woman founded, but then on the about page, it talks about how her husband helped her. So I think it's more like couple founded and he's really like letting her have the stage but um this is also something that would be good for my pregnant belly in my eighth month things are gonna start to really grow really quickly um and that's why I was holding on to it uh it does have some decent reviews on their website so I now nah, I'm probably just gonna get rid of it I need to order something on Amazon for that purpose okay so this is Neon and Co again um and like I, I said before that I've been waiting for people to talk about and leave reviews on their products. And I, I, in that moment I said that I did remember that I have seen people on the forum talking about how they love the hair mask and that it smells a little bit fruity um, and that it feels really, really good. And I love hair masks. I actually don't really use conditioners. I wash my hair like once a week and I use hair masks. <clears throat> Uh, so I would like to try that. Also, people are saying really good things about the shampoo and conditioner on the forum. Um, one person did say that she thought it smelled plasticky though. So I'm wondering what that was about. Maybe something was wrong with the bottles she got. I'm not sure. More London town. This is Corez. So Corez is a Greek company. They check all my boxes. They, um, I have tried one of their body butters before and I noticed that they had formaldehyde. Oh, here it is. I didn't see it before. So this right here, this is a formaldehyde releaser and that is one ingredient. I'm not very strict with my ingredients, but there are some where I, I decide, nah, it's a deal breaker. So that's a formaldehyde releaser. Um, <clears throat> so I will probably go ahead and dump this product. The Corez body butters though, aside from that, if that isn't something that is disqualifies a product for you, they are really, really moisturizing and they are body butters. I have seen people complain because they want to use it as a hand cream and it takes forever to soak in. It is not a hand cream. It's a body butter. It takes time to soak in. So put it on at night when you're going to wear your robe and watch some TV or something. But I really, I'm, Jasmine is one of my favorite scents. So I got pretty excited. And when I first looked, I didn't see the formaldehyde releaser. So I went ahead and put it in my cart, but I'm going to have to go ahead and delete it because I'm not into the formaldehyde releaser thing. Okay, more London Town, <clears throat> Vegamore. This is a natural beauty line, and I honestly haven't looked to see if there are any apparent reviews on this one. On their own site, they have it has a 4.9 rating. I have plenty plenty of oils so I'm not gonna get it but it's a natural brand if you need a if you need a marula oil I do like marula oil I used a marula facial oil by marula the company marula that was very very good um so that's pretty much that I'm not very impressed there um I haven't looked into this one 
So, so here, I will show you a little bit about uh, how I go. I will show you the steps I take when I'm just looking into the company itself by going to their website. So I will uh, go to their website directly. Here's the product. 20 reviews on their own website. So that's pretty good. Fi all five stars, you know, could be family and friends. I go to, there's usually an about us or an our story. So I go to our story and here it was founded in 2015. Usually it brags a little bit about the founder. She looks super sweet and fun. Um, I'm not getting, I'm getting a good feeling from this. Um, Earthland Foundation, so they're probably going to go on and talk about how they're cruelty-free, as natural as possible. When I talk about botanical and all-natural stuff on my channel, I don't, I think that there are some instances where a lab created ingredient is perfectly fine. I am not one of those people who thinks everything has to be natural. Um, but this looks like a pretty lovely brand. That said, I'm also a little skeptical of the newer brands. Um, you know, there are so many new brands out there and it's just hard to try them all. So especially when there isn't much of a discount. What is this even? It's a liquid exfoliant. Uh, oh, it's got enzymes to, okay, it's an exfoliant. It's a chemical exfoliant for your face. Um, so I would, I would read the reviews on their website and I would check to see if there are reviews elsewhere. If I really wanted something like this, then I would decide to purchase it based on the reviews. So that's kind of my thought process as I go through. Like I said, I'm so sorry. I wanted to get through and make my car uh, more final before I did this video, but I need to start uploading it. So, um, and I'm at my, I live living with my parents now. And so a video this long with their internet takes about 10 hours to upload. So I also am facing that time crunch. So this is something, this, oh hi, this is, I did keep this brand of makeup in my cart so that I could look it up and talk about it. It is something that or it looks like Urban Outfitters carries. And there are a lot of reviews on Urban Outfitters for this mascara. Well, that's pretty good. That's nice to see. So you can, that would be a, a, a source of reviews that I would feel were pretty reliable. Urban Outfitters companies must, customers must get incentive to leave reviews. And then I would check, um, okay, so they must be an Urban Outfitter brand though. Maybe not. Yeah. It looks like they might be made for Urban Outfitters. I'm not seeing obvious reviews anywhere other than Urban Outfitters. So, yeah, I that doesn't really sell me in particular. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the Ojai makeup. Also, also, if I were really, really wanting to get this, I would look more into Urban Outfitters. I don't know too much about the company, actually. Um, but I'm not, I'm not trying to get on my high horse. I shop at Target. I shop at Old Navy. I shop at the Gap. So, um, but in, in, like I said, it helps me save money to also use those principles to delete things from my cart. Um, I haven't looked into this. Uh, no one's really talking about it on the forum here from Birchbox is 21,000 reviews from Birchbox and four stars. So that's not, that's not so bad for so, oh, 309 reviews. That's another thing that I've found is really important. When you see, when you search a product and you see on the search, uh, just the search page, the reviews, the information here is not always accurate. So you actually have to click and take a look and see what the reviews are. Oh, here's Influencer. I did mention that I like looking at Influencer reviews for products because I do Influencer reviews. Oh, I'm logged in. You can see I'm logged in. I do Influencer reviews and um, people are very honest. I'm, I'm very honest on Influencer. So uh, 
yeah, so I, I do like checking there for reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, you can look into it more. I don't need something like that. I'm deleting all of her stuff. Um, you can use the same kind of method to look into the Philip Kingsley stuff. I'm going to leave it in because I haven't looked into it, but I also want to kind of just move on and um, not make this video incredibly, incredibly long. I do, um, so I'm going to now from... From now on, I'm going to go through the rest of my cart. I'm going to admit that I haven't had a chance to look into certain things, but you know, given all of the information I gave you, hopefully that's helpful for you when you go and look into things you're interested in purchasing. Uh, I don't know. I haven't looked into these things. I know that the Skin & Co, I, I, people liked this. I, uh, I concentrate a lot when it came out before, and I, I remember people talking about it. It's got a lot of claims hear about how amazing it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, here is Marrakesh. I just maxed out on this. This was available in the last sale. I love the Marrakesh hair products, uh, the ones that I have used. I've used three now, and I'll, I've loved all three of them. I just maxed out on it, though, so I don't know if I need to max out on it again, but I might get one or two more just because the price is amazing and I go through them quickly. This is Super Mood. I tried a serum of theirs, which was really interesting before, so I'm going to do what I showed you as a quick research on this to see if the reviews are good enough. I also have plenty of masks, so I don't need more masks, but um, this is a, this is a, let me see if I remember, I think it's from Finland? Yeah, Finland. Uh, it's a Finnish company, <laughs> so uh, that's also pretty neat is that FabFitFun brings these brands from um, all these other companies. Um, I don't know anything about this particular product from Skin & Co. Um, I actually have a Parasilk foot peel that I haven't used yet, but these, these are those um, foot peels that, you know, your feet start to look like a snake when they're exfoliating, but I have one I haven't, I actually am kind of scared to do it, to be honest. Um, okay, so I haven't, I haven't looked into these products. Uh, this Revivaderm, all I did look into this and I saw that they're by Cal Pharma, which is the same brand that does the Namaste skincare that's been in past sales and also the S SPFRX, I think, brand. Um, both of those are uh, well-loved, have good reviews. I don't know about the Ramona Klein. I do remember looking into it before when they were in sales before, and I don't remember. Style Fox, I also don't remember. Pistache um, owes a lot to Tati. Tati raved about their shower oil in a video or two. Um, I bought a hand cream of theirs in a prior sale because of Tati's raving about one of their products. I am a Tati fan. Uh, and I don't like that hand cream. So I don't know if I'm going to get this uh, beauty oil. I also have tons of oils, as I said. Um, but uh, yeah, so pistache is something that interests me. She compared it to a Laura Mercier, not this product, but the product she was talking about, a Laura Mercier product that was similar and high end because it's Laura Mercier. So I am, I am curious about pistache. We'll see if I get this. Um, uh, I don't know. Is it, what is this? I have to. I don't know. I have to look into that. I'm sorry. And then Marrakesh oil. I love. This is the, one of the three Marrakesh products that I have tried. I love this one. And I was actually just thinking after I maxed out on the other product I showed you in the last sale. I was just thinking. I really hope they have the oil soon. I'm so maxing out on that. And lo and behold, they have it. So I am going to get it. So the Apto stuff. Uh, they have another mask that's available in the sale that. I did see, I saw a lot of people rave about it, and then some people say it was just okay. Um, I think I would, I don't, yeah, that's, that's, if for some reason I was going with, without trying it, with the people who were saying it was just okay. Um, other than that, it is a decent company, and I don't know, I, for some reason I'm just very much not intrigued by them, though. So I'm dumping that. Okay, <clears throat> this Grown Alchemist product is up there with my, one of my, um, with the uh, exfoliant that I'm maxing out on. I have this one. It is the best, it is the best mud mask type 
uh, type face mask that I have ever used. It is so clarifying and detoxifying feeling. It is wonderful and the smell is just spa-like and amazing. Um, this is, I don't need, I would, I'm more curious personally to try the Ofra highlighter than this highlighter. This is also a gel highlighter, which is a little strange. I don't wear enough highlighters and makeup, but I'm I'm personally just more curious to try the um, Ofra highlighter. Actually, I'm curious if Butter London passes the cruelty-free test. Let's see if they're on here. They are. Let's see. They are cruelty-free. They're not certified, but it looks like they are not owned by a company that's not cruelty-free. So they are fine. They're all good. What about Ofra? I wonder if Ofra is on here. <laughs> Let's see. Ofra Cosmetics. I think they are. I remember checking them before. Yeah, they are cruelty-free. They're Leaping Bunny and PETA certified. I believe Leaping Bunny has uh, slightly more strict rules to be, to certify. Um, wait, I believe <laughs> Leaping Bunny has stricter rules than PETA does about certifications for brands, Is if that makes sense. I've had trouble wording that sentence. Uh, so, okay, so they're both... I'm just personally more curious about the Ofra one. I've seen it raved about so many times. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So let's see what my card is at now. 486, actually. As, as I was filming this, I just deleted about $150 from my cart. So that's great. I'm going to get it under 200 There are a lot of things in here I'm seeing as I scroll that I'm going to be happy to just delete. I just really want to research them more before I do so. Okay, so that's my cart. Now I'm going to close that so I don't get myself confused. Now we're going to go through the entire sale and I'm going to talk about as much as I can about all of the products and share with you what I remember learning. So sponge gels, these are a fan favorite. People love these. They go nuts for them. I'm actually not seeing them sell out um, as much as they have before, but I personally, I also try to minimize things that are single use. Uh, this isn't actually single use. You use it for over 14 washes, it says. But uh, things that you would just throw away and discard, I try not to use them. Although I do have a friend, a subscriber friend, who has a way that she reuses them. She uses them as um, in her plants, like some something to like hold water and I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. She uses them for her plants, so she does reuse them. So there are ways, once the soap is all out, to reuse them, and um, and that would be a good way to uh, kind of counteract that single-use uh, issue. I don't know about these. I don't really tend to get uh, style stuff. I have gotten a style item. Um, I did a video where I unboxed it and tried it on. I just, there. these are the types of things that FabFitFun has where you just really can't tell what the quality is going to be like. My goodness, this is $5 though. <laughs> see, that's isn't that awful? I see the price and then I'm like, never mind. I'm just going to go back on everything I just said and add it to my cart. Um, no, I probably won't get it, but I did just favorite it because I didn't notice that price tag on it before. Let's see what it's made out of. Vegan leather, which... Um, when it, when I see a vegan leather, a lot of times I think, oh yeah, that's just a fan fancy way of saying, you know, polyurethane or the fake leather, the pleather that we have always known. But there are people who say that with vegan leather, they are actually trying to mimic leather as much as they can with the highest quality materials they can. Um, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, so vegan leather, 100% polyester made in China. Interesting. $5. Okay, moving on. Bios Apothecary. This is a brand that I just think has the loveliest packaging and presentation. They are always very, very cheap in the sales. 
I can't find any reviews. I've talked about them in prior videos. If you've used anything by them, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. I've asked that same question in prior videos, and I have seen I've saw one person commented saying they used something that they really loved, and forgive me, I forget which product it was. And then another per person said they used a different product of theirs that they that they were unimpressed by. So. I still don't have a lot to go off of. There are zero reviews that I can find online from this brand, um, but I am very curious about them. Their presentation is just so darn cute. So darn cute. Um, Q-tip jar. I just feel like stuff like this you can get at TJ Maxx for a few bucks if you ever need it. I don't think, I don't feel like, I mean, if you need it, get it, but I feel like you could even find it for maybe 4 or $5 somewhere else. Ross, even. Um, the daily concept stuff is pretty fun. I have a glove and a, an exfoliating glove that I really like, and I have a towel wrap that another subscriber friend sent to me. She's so nice. Um, anyway, here's more Bios Apothecary. I just talked about them. Uh, the Ahava bath salts. I don't know about this Dead Sea Salt one. There was a Eucalyptus one that was around for a while and like a a cylindrical tub type thing. I have it. I haven't used it yet because I'm waiting to, to close escrow on this house. I hope it goes through, but then I'll have a tub and I can use it and I can tell you what I think of it. But people really, really like their bath salts. I like a Hava. I like a Hava as a brand. Um, this is Zoe Isla, uh, brush cleaner. I've seen it used and it works. Um, Cheryl Allen's Empower Yourself. I remember a while ago, she's another YouTuber. She uh, demonstrated using hers on her channel. It was amazing. Um, but I did check, and there are similar products on Amazon for cheaper. So I will probably, if I ever decide that I want one, I will probably just go ahead and get one of those. <clears throat> more sponge gel mystery bundles i have tried a couple i will never do it again i only ended up with things i don't know what the heck i'm gonna do with after getting them so for me no thank you some people love them though um i'm dermalect as a brand they are i haven't been able to find anything confirming if they're cruelty free or not they might be um, they also are pretty relaxed in their ingredients. If you're an ingredient person, just, you know, run a double check on their ingredients. Here's a formaldehyde releaser. That's the same one that was in the Carez body butter. It's, it's, it ends in urea. There are a couple that end in urea that are formaldehyde rele releasers that you can spot. And then if you want to avoid those, then you can <clears throat> just get rid of those from your cart. So, um, yeah, so just double check ingredients when you're looking at Dermalect. Dermalect products, I've used one, and it was a neck cream, and I swear it worked. <laughs> I swear it worked. Maybe, I, I don't know, it also kind of coincided with when I kind of upped my skincare overall, so maybe I was handing too much credit to the Dermalect. Um, here's a Hava. Uh, the water scent, I did have their water hand cream, um, and it at first was a little too strong, but then I used it. That was when it was fresh out of the box. I used it, I got used to it. I thought it was a nice scent. Um, it has a very, when I put it on, I remember feeling like it had kind of a film that it left on my hands. Not terribly, not enough for me. I still think it's a great hand cream. I would buy it again. But there was a little bit of an interesting kind of film that I can't really explain any more than that. Um, look at all of these ingredients, though. That's a lot of ingredients. Maybe, oh, that's because there are several, several products here. Hand cream, body lotion, um, foot cream. That's why. <laughs> okay, forgive me. Um, anyway, so the hand cream, yeah, it just left a little bit of a strange film. Oh, maybe it was the dimethicone. Maybe it had a little bit more dimethicone and I don't know. I don't know, but it was still fine. I still liked it. Okay, moving on. Um, there's Coraz again. I don't know that particular product. Uh, oh, this one. Oh gosh, let me remember. This had good reviews. I believe it had good reviews, not a lot of reviews. It had good reviews, not a lot of reviews. Okay. 
That's what I remember. And this is on their very own website. So, okay. Sorry, I couldn't remember that one offhand. Uh, I have seen people say that they like their stuff. Not a lot of people. So there you go. Um, ooh, this is pretty. Oh, wait, kind of. Anyway. Um... I had this in my cart, but then I realized like what I was saying about the Q-tip holder. If you need stuff like this, you can go get it for about the same price at TJ Maxx or places like that. I also like going to Goodwill and getting like vintagey looking vases or um, glasses that really solid glass uh, for my vanity and things like that. I like doing that um, instead. So it doesn't look um, so it looks a little bit more unique. Okay, Dr. Brandt, uh, they, their products are subject to animal testing, so I don't ever consider their products. Overall, as a brand, people seem to like them, though. So you can do go ahead and check their reviews. I stay away from them. Oh, here's Ojai again. It looks like they're an Urban Outfitters line, but you might want to double check. Dermalect, London Kerr. Milk, I always say this, and I oh, it still remains true. It seems like there are just two different kind of kinds of people in this world: those that love milk makeup and those that don't. So I can't, I can't even begin to tell you what to do with the milk makeup stuff. Okay, this, no one's talking about this this time around, but this was around in sales a year ago. It was in sales a few few seasons in a row. People were raving about it. It smells. God awful. Unless, maybe maybe they changed the scent. They, I don't remember them having a scent description before on this product. I sure hope they changed the scent. Uh, the price is a little cheaper. I think I paid $29 after numerous people were like, you've got to try it. You've got to try it. You've got to try it. It smells awful, but it works so well. Um, so when I tried it, it smelled... People people described it as burnt tire. I I can see how that would be a descriptor for it. I don't know that I, I, there's something a different description for it for me that I haven't been able to pick. So I'm just gonna go with that. It was awful. I couldn't get past the smell. I used it for a good couple of weeks to give it a chance to see what was so amazing about it. It did absorb really nicely. It went on really nicely, and I do. I did have at the time like a cystic pimple that was not going away and after a couple weeks of using it, it was gone. Now I don't know if it was just because it finally went away on its own or because there was something about this that really, really worked. Now. I did a deep dive review on this product about what made it so expensive and I will put a link to that video where I talk about it in the description box below if I remember. If I don't remember, leave me a comment and I'll see it and I'll, I'll put it in there. Um, but it, there's a reason it's so expensive. I'm not remembering offhand right now. It's the, uh, it's one of the, it's this, it's this oil, this oil right here, the Corsican Immortel. It's that one. Uh, but I will I will put the link to that review video in the description box below so you can see. I couldn't get past the smell. I still have half a bottle left that I will never use. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, I talked about Erno Laszlo. They, um, in the beginning of this video, they just entered the Chinese market in 2017. Therefore, they are not cruelty-free and I don't buy from them. Um, the Habanaria uh, products seem to be fairly well-loved. I looked into it. I was considering getting one. Um, this one has good reviews. People, I, that's about all I can say, though. I've never tried it. <clears throat> Here's the Philip Kingsley's. Oh, Juice Beauty. Juice Beauty. I say it all the time. I really, really want to fall in love with Juice Beauty and just have a love affair with them. Um, I get samples of them in my Pettivere box sometimes, and that I've had a couple of things that I've really liked from them, but... Their, their reviews are just so hit and miss. Um, oh, I'm going to go ahead and remove that from my cart. I didn't mean to keep it there. Um, okay, and then I don't know. This looks interesting, but to me it's not very 
cute. Oh, I apologize if you think it's cute. I just think it could be cuter. I thought about getting it, but no. People like the laundress detergent. I think for me, I just get my detergent at Trader Joe's and it's good enough. I'm not sure. Maybe if I used it, I would be amazed and a, and a convert, but I, I just, yeah, my Trader Joe's detergent's fun. <clears throat> Here's this Tarte. I, I watched a review video, even though Tarte is owned by Kohl's, I do like Tarte products. I think that they do well with their stuff, um, but I don't buy them. But I did out of curiosity watch a review video on this, and there was a woman who did a YouTube video. So you can search and um, and check out a YouTube review on this. It wasn't this color, uh, but she, she's, she did a review. She didn't like the color she had, but she liked the way it wore. Um, Briogeo, don't know anything about that particular product. Sonage, I don't know anything about this particular product. They were in the last sale. They had a bundle. It was like four products for $19. I have used three of the four products that I've got, I got from there. I've used a collagen booster serum. I used a gommage and I used their, um, rich cream, which is better for dry skin. The face cream and, and oh and also people were finally talking about Sinaj on the forum and how amazing they are that they really really love them this time this sale no one's talking about them anymore so I don't know what happened with all that love but the face cream that I used I'm using I'm using it right now it's amazing I love it it's great it smells really good it's like a subtle orangey smell sweet orange smell and it's very very moisturizing so I really love their their um cream and I don't know what like I said I don't know what happened with all the love towards Sinaj from the last sale not seeing it this time around but people did did go crazy. Maybe it was just there was such a good deal last sale that people were going a little nuts. I bought a shower cap one sale and I am surprised how much I like having it. <laughs> That's all I have to say about a shower cap. Um, I do use it in the morning. It helps not, not, uh, it helps reduce the frizz around the my hairline that I would get sometimes. I have not tried this Grown Alchemist product, so I don't have any reviews there for you. <clears throat> this Okay, so this has some really good reviews. This set, this treatment system, I was a little turned off when I looked up, looked them up on the website. There was nothing that talked about their commitment to sustainability or the environment or being cruelty-free. Cruelty -free. And that is usually something where I will say, oh, great, I'm going to go save money and delete it from my cart. But not only that, they talk about how they have a key ingredient that comes from an island off of the coast of Brazil. And I also feel like as a as a privileged person in the United States, when I purchase things, I want to see, especially if they're in other countries, that something's being done to help the area. I don't I don't know. I just want to see that companies are really forward thinking and thinking about those things that I mentioned, like sustainability and and all of that. So uh, the website was very simple, didn't talk about that kind of thing at all. Um, but it did have good reviews. If, if that's not something that you're interested in, um, then it did have it did have good reviews. And I bet it, it I, I would I would think I would hope it would stand up to the reviews. I don't know what to think about 111 Skin. I have seen some people rave about some of the products that have been in past sales. They are, I, I, I feel, my impression that's not based on much <laughs> is that they might be just a little bit overpriced. I'll tell you what, I was really turned off by something. And they, so they're a London-based company, high-end, uh, run by a Greek doctor. And when you go to their website, they brag. One of the things that they do is they brag about all the celebrities that love their product and swear by their products. Um, and that kind of bothers me. I have to say, I'm not exactly sure why. Here's their website. Let's see if it it's still there. Um, it just, it bothers me maybe because celebrities here. This bothered me. <laughs> but these are the kinds of things that I look for to see what I personally might just might be turned off by. And then I'm like, great, I'm going to go save money. Um, they've added more celebrities. I don't know who these people are. But um, 
So these are the pe- the celebrities that swear by their products that we should that should make us want to use their products. You know, Kim Kardashian, I've heard of these people. I've heard of all of these people and they've added more. Um and I there's like no testimonials by them. It's just weird to me that they think that this is a selling point. And maybe it is a selling point. We want to use what the stars use. I mean, I'm I'm guilty of that too. But it, I don't know why. It just kind of turned me off. And then there was a picture of the founder. Our founders. Let's see. I saw that and I don't know. I just... There's just something about this this line that I don't feel connected with at all. So it's great. It saves me a lot of money. If you've used their things and you love them, please let me know. Uh, a friend of mine, she used the gold mask and she said it was just awful. Um, but I do know that people did use some of their stuff and love it. Uh, it's not, see, it's not out of stock. It's not flying off the shelves of the virtual FabFitFun sale. So Anyway, the Wish stuff, Wish uh, stuff, I have one of their lip scrubs that I really, really like, and um, I do know that people have liked some of their stuff. I haven't used any of their oils or body butters, but <clears throat> I I like their company. I do. I don't know anything about that, that product, though. It was in my cart for a little while. Okay. Moving on, Laura Geller stuff. I see that. I see her stuff in TJ Maxx all the time. Uh, so if you wanted to try anything by her before picking up something from the sale, you might be able to go to TJ Maxx and check it out. Ish is the makeup brand by FabFitFun. I have never seen anyone say anything good about it. I'm going to skip over the bundles in hopes of being able to just talk about each thing individually, although some of the bundles have things that aren't available individually, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Kate Somerville is owned by Estee Lauder, so I don't buy um, Kate Somerville products, but I do have this one. I haven't used it yet because it came for free one sale a while back. If we spent a certain amount of money, they must have had a surplus in stock. Uh, there's Bios Apothecary again. This, I've heard, is kind of overhyped for what it is, although I bet if I had a teenager, if I had a teenager, I would I would buy this from, I would love this, I would have loved this in high school to scrapbook with and play with. It would have made me feel so cool. So if I had a teenager, I'd buy that for them. <laughs> um, this has good reviews. I've seen it in a lot of uh, subscription boxes. Um Let's see. I don't do sheet masks. So if you're wondering about sheet masks, I'm very sorry. I'm going to gloss over all of the sheet masks. Um, that's one time use. So I'm glossing over that. Um, see what else can I talk about? Oh, the Ilya stuff. I'll talk about it when I get to it individually. Mm. Oh, this red serum. So there's a lot of Korean beauty, K-beauty in the sale. This had good reviews. It's kind of hard to find a lot of uh, solid information on the K-beauty lines of products. You have to do a little bit more digging, or at least that's how I feel. Uh, but here, this one came up easily, cruelty-free brand, and solid out of 833 reviews on Yes Style, four and a half stars. So this had excellent reviews. Um, so if you're looking into that, that's a good one. Ilya. So this is available on Sephora. It's not much of a price break, but it has amazing reviews as well on Sephora. Um, amazing reviews. <laughs> 54 reviews, almost a solid five stars. This is a woman owned company. All of checks off all those boxes that I've talked about. Um, yeah, so that must be good. I don't believe it's a long lasting lip color, but 
excellent reviews. Um, my hair is curly. I used a mini straightening brush by um, Mika that didn't do squat for my hair. Um, that's my brief review of straightening brushes. This is a energy setting spray. So it's just a room spray for, um, by, uh, it's, if you're into new agey kind of stuff, uh, this is uh, made by a tarot card reader. And it actually seems like it would be something nice to spray the room with before, if you're into meditation, before you meditate. I personally like meditating. It's tough for me, but it takes practice to get good at it. But it is very grounding. Um, there are, okay, I am not sure if it's the tea me or the teas. Okay, I can't, I'm not going to keep talking because I did see somebody on the forum talking about one or the other of these and how much they liked it, but I don't remember which one it was, so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to move on. Hand skin, um, so I have this set, I purchased it simply because I love this hyaluronic skin essence right here, uh, and then I did see somebody talking on the forum about it today, that they also really, really liked the moisture cream, so this would be a I would recommend this set, even though it does have face masks, which I mentioned I try to steer, steer clear of that stuff. Um, those are good stocking stuffers also for other people. Um, I do have some face masks. I just try not to acquire a huge mountain of them. But um, I, I would recommend this little set right here. Tarte, uh, this color... Again, I don't buy Tarte things, but I, I, I'm so intrigued by their stuff. Um, it was, I remember looking at a, uh, uh, I guess it was a review video on YouTube, maybe. This is a very, very light pink. It's a very light pink, and it, it looked a little too light for my skin tone. Um, I don't remember, I don't remember seeing anyone say wonderful things about this Dr. Brandt product. In fact, I remember people saying it was a little bit odd. Uh, oh, the Organic Pharmacy. This is a London-based company. Eventually, their their website, is this the one? Let me see if I remember. I'm sorry. I usually don't jump to the website so often when I do these videos, but I'm doing it right now. No, this isn't the one. Okay, this is a normal-looking website. There was another one. Oh, it was the e Volcano Hand Cream. That website was funny. Okay, so I, I, eventually I... I'm going to look into an organic pharmacy product. I just don't need body oils. I have a lot of oils. I don't need any. Clay is a, a very um, is vegan and sustainable. All those things. I don't know anything else about that product. I have a couple of lifestyle co products that I I very much like. They're an LA based company, cruelty free. All those wonderful things and. Um, I had this in my cart for a minute, but I don't need to go out in the sun and try to tan. Um, I, I have the reason, not that I'm looking down on it. The reason is I had a um, sarcoma removed from my chest when it was very, the prognosis was amazing. You know, it's well differentiated, but I just need to not, not try to <laughs> go out in the sun and tan because this is not a self tanner. I believe this is, um, actually something you put on before you go outside to tan. Yeah, it's a tanner. Um, okay, let's try to get further along here. Uh, Terra Mare, they are a lovely high-end vegan organic skin uh, skincare line. Their products have been a little bit hit and miss with me. I've liked two of the four products that I've tried. I have not tried that one. Um... Cat Berkey, I think, let me get to the website and see if I remember correctly. So, um, 4.4 stars, 31 customer views. Okay, this is not the, they're pioneering. They all say that they're pioneering. Anyway, I don't know too much about it. Um, I don't know too much about Pat Cat Berkey. Let me just move on from that. This one, 
uh, has wonderful reviews. Black Rice Facial Oil. Um, people that talk about it say they love stuff by this brand, Haru Haru. The wonderful, the wonder, wonder stuff has good reviews. This one has a lot of really good reviews. And most things I find that are made in Korea uh, that at K-Beauty are cruelty-free. Um, so I would say if I were looking for a facial oil, I would recommend this one. Talked about those. The This Works stuff kind of confuses me. Um, <laughs> that's all I have to say. I uh, I got we got something in our last box, and I I have yet to try it. I'm not sure exactly what it's for. Um, I remember seeing a YouTuber really recommend this product, like highly highly recommend this particular lip crayon in this color. She was she was light skinned and blonde. If that's helpful. Um, you know, these, I don't know if it's just because I'm in California, but these blankets, if you're, okay, if, first of all, if you're looking for a cozy throw for your couch, I would not recommend this. This, these are very, very good for like the beach or picnics or things like that. They're very, very durable. Uh, and being in California, I can find them even cheaper than $19. Maybe it's because of my proximity to Mexico. Uh, but this this price is a little bit steep. I haven't looked elsewhere, but yeah, I mean, they're in gas stations here in California. Um, like when you do long haul trips across the state, you there's a gas station in particular I'm thinking of where they, these are sold for like $10. Um, so I'm not sure. You might be able to find a better deal is my point on that. There's a bundles. I'm just going to breeze past the bundles. Uh, let's see. So again, style items. I don't tend to go for style items. I just feel like you can find these types of things at TJ Maxx and places where you can go into the store and see it physically. And maybe even they have a return policy. I've heard it's nightmarish to try to negotiate returns, exchanges, and things like that with FabFitFun. So I would recommend if you see something that you're really interested in, just keep in mind that you really like it and maybe look elsewhere for something similar. That's what I do for myself. Jewelry, uh, definitely, definitely check what the jewelry says it's made of. Um, here, it's obviously, well, to me, it seems obvious that it's not the best quality metal. It's just, just says 14 karat, 14 karat silver uh, plated, which you don't know what's what it's plating. It could just be brass. It could even be worse. It could be some sort of alloy. If you ha if you are sensitive to jewelry materials, you could really be subjecting yourself to a breakout. Um, yeah, I mean, some a lot of times those kinds of materials will hold up. I just feel like at that price, that's it. Better be like solid sterling silver through and through. That's my that's my whole idea there. The Better Skin Co., this is the company that came out with that really, really popular lava magic mask that was really popular uh, not too long ago. And it's a woman-owned company, um, all things wonderful about that company. I don't know anything about that particular product. It does have reviews, though, you can go check out. Um, oh, these Touch and Soul primers, people love them. People really say good things about them. Uh, the, as far as straighteners and hair dryers and things like this, this is another thing that I highly recommend looking for. If you really want a good one, look elsewhere for one that you can try and maybe return if it doesn't work out for you. Ulta is a great place for that. Um, I got my, my T3 Featherweight at Costco for $75, which that 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 blow dryer is like two hundred fifty dollars retail, and so just just if you really want something nice like this, I wouldn't I wouldn't say, I would say don't look for a hair tool, a good hair tool, on a FabFitFun sale. I would say go elsewhere. That's just my two cents. Okay, the No BS Vitamin C Serum. This is weird. It's mucusy. The consistency is mucusy. And it smells really funny. 
I didn't like using it. I used it up, and when I was done with it, I was very happy to be done with it. Um, but no BS stands for no bad stuff, and they are cruelty-free and vegan, so that's great. I love it, but I didn't enjoy using the product. This is a moisturizer. It's a retinol moisturizer. I'd be very interested in trying this if I needed a moisturizer and I was going to be using retinol. I'm pregnant. I'm going to breastfeed, so I'm not going to get to use retinol for about a year from now, depending on how long I breastfeed. Um, I haven't used this Terramera product. So this uh, body caviar, I checked the reviews on Influencer, and I think they were something like... They were less than four stars. Excuse me. They were less than four stars. Here. Yeah, 3.8 stars. And people talked about it leaving a black film uh, on their skin. And um, the texture being a little odd. Yeah, so I, based on based on the influencer reviews, which like I said, I really like influencer reviews, I, I dumped this from my cart. Let's see, Immunocology, very high end, very interested in sustainability and products that are ethically sourced and paying fair wages very very conscious it's reflected in their prices <laughs> but they have they make they make great skincare there are some people that really swear by them it's founded by a woman who's a cancer survivor and she really wanted to come up with a skincare line that that didn't have bad stuff in it um let's see what else i used this and I will say that it was absolutely nothing to write home about. However, when I researched it back when I purchased it about a year ago, it is very, very good for sensitive skin. If you have things as uh, issues like rosacea, I remember this is um, a very, very good product for for people with sensitive skin. So, um, yeah, that's. But for me, it fell flat. I I didn't feel like it did anything for me. This kit is cheaper on Amazon. However, I do um, caution buying beauty products on Amazon uh, because, like I mentioned earlier, sometimes people will cut what the cut the product with something else or water it down or whatever to make more money. Uh, chlorine, people love, love, love this hair mask, and I would love, love, love to try it. Except for chlorine is not cruelty free, so I don't purchase from them. Aloe up. I this is a chemical sunscreen, but I do I do, so I don't I try not to use chemical sunscreens. I do think it's better to use a chemical sunscreen than no sunscreen. Um, and this one does claim to use the less harmful chemicals in its formula. I also I do recommend though. Um, if you can, mineral sunscreens. However, I did use, before I knew about mineral sunscreens, I used one of their face sunscreens and I really, really liked it. So I did I did like the aloe up face sunscreen that I used. Okay. Here's the other Apto skincare mask where I said some people were saying really good things about it and a lot of people were saying it was just okay. Um, so. I'm going with the people who probably said it was just okay. Here's a nice uh, Wish lip scrub and lip balm set. This would be kind of fun, um, even as a gift. I don't know. I personally wouldn't like pear. And I actually ran into this at Costco once uh, last spring, I think it was. But this would be nice if you like pear. More Bios Apothecary. This J. Nicole brand, I visited the site. It didn't speak to me. I didn't really connect with the way that they wrote about the company or the founder. So I was able to just dump it from my cart. Oh, the Aquis hair towels are great. I have not heard anything really great about their hair products though. So if you're, if you're really wanting the hair towel and you're gonna spend more, just to get the hair towel. I did see on the forum that they are on sale on GMA. 
which I had never heard of before. And it's not really um, a good thing that I have now because it's GMA deals. And it is um, Good Morning America Deals, I believe is what it stands for. So let's actually, this one, Good Morning America Deals. And you can shop and here it has the hair turban for cheaper. <clears throat> right here, Aquas pre-wash hair towels and turbans. So you can shop here and get it for even cheaper than it is in the sale right now. So if you're really, really wanting a turban and you were gonna get this and pay a little more, I would check that out first. Um, I, I think a few people on the forum have said they purchased a bundle like this because they just wanted the term and they tried the hair products and they said it was nothing that exciting. Um, I'm just going to see. This it has really, really great reviews and I bought it a few sales back and I have yet to try it, but really amazing reviews. So I purchased it and I... Like I said, I have yet to try it. <laughs> Maybe come a gift when I'm hard up for a gift for somebody. Um, talked about 111 Skin, Immunicology. Let's see. Again, here's another hair tool. If you really want a hair tool, do some good shopping around for something that you're gonna love. Sorry, I hadn't seen this purse before and it's kind of cute. It's genuine leather, made in India. I like I like products that are made in India, I do. Okay, um, Mother Dirt, I, had, I, I didn't look into them. I'm sorry, I looked into them a while ago. I think they have a really short product after opening timeline, so you have to use them really quickly. Uh, they are very, they check off all my boxes, but that's all I remember. I'm sorry, I didn't look into them further this time. The Beauty Crop is a London-based uh, beauty company, and they're, all their products are made in China. Uh, that's all I have to say about them. <laughs> The LSTN, I have some wireless head headphones from them that work pretty well. They're a little bulky, but they work pretty well. This Leland Francis, it's an American company. There are no reviews on their products that I could find. This non-gender specific serum has excellent reviews. If you need a serum, look into this one. Excellent, excellent reviews. A lot of them. People swear by them. I have seen that some of the reviews sprinkled with some people saying it did nothing for them or that it was weird, but for the most part, the reviews are awesome. Here's the light, light therapy stuff. I've told this story before, but I will again. I went into my dermatologist to ask about the spots on my chest, and she, she recommended light therapy. So it was dermatologist recommended for me. This one is particularly for acne. Um, so they have different ones for different things. But it was dermatologist recommended, so that made me feel better. It is, it is becoming a thing. I got the one of the light therapy things in my last box and I, I want to do a kind of a 30 day before and after video using it eventually. <clears throat> More style items, I already talked about style items and hair tools, so I'm just gonna scroll past all of that. Also, I like to scroll so that if people are just curious what's in the cell, they can see using my video. More Ilya stuff, wonderful reviews on their stuff. Uh, more Dr. Brandt. I've talked about either these brands or the products already. Lifestyle Co. This looked like it would be really good. It's glycolic acid. It's a chemical exfoliating natural toner. Some people are really kind of down on these tank tops. Um, they look great to me, actually, but I already have some like that. Um, I bought this dry skin green goo for my husband once. He never used it. And it's also, it, it takes time to absorb. That's why he doesn't like it. 
So I, <laughs> I don't even know why I said that because I haven't given it a good try. More Kate Somerville, owned by Estee Lauder. So I, people love Poopery. Monica Dar. I did a deep dive review on another one of their products that made me just lose faith in their brand altogether. It was the scrub we got in a box. I think it was the winter 2019 box. And it was just, all it was was fractionated coconut oil. And there was supposed to be charcoal in it. There was no charcoal. And then there was the salt. And then there was a formaldehyde releaser. And I think one more ingredient. I'll try to remember to link that video below as well. But after that, I just completely wrote off Monica Dar as a brand. They could have some really good stuff. So if you have have used stuff from them that you really like, please let me know in the comments below. Murad's owned by Unilever. So I don't purchase from them, although they do make some really, really great products and people like their stuff a lot. I think that this toner is actually one of the things that's well liked. You could double check reviews on that probably on Ulta. <clears throat> okay. Luxie brushes. Oh, I kind of missed this. No, I remember seeing this now. Luxie brushes are good. Of all the brushes in this sale, I have heard the best things about Luxie brushes. Beauty Crop. I tried and I did a review video on some of their on another set of theirs, and I did not like it. They are very lip glossy. They say they're lip sticks so unless this formula is a little bit different um it doesn't last very long i don't i don't like lip glosses very much so i did not like it but um and maybe this formula is different now from what i had gotten but that was my experience when i bought a set from um the beauty crop for their lip lip gloss lip lipsticks and i believe they called them lipsticks last time too the, there was nothing that indicated it would be a gloss here is more Habaneria, Marianella. Um, good reviews. I think this one, this has better reviews than the caviar that I mentioned earlier um, where I saw the Influencer reviews. But check Influencer. Influencer has reviews on that one too. Talked about that. This is another K-Beauty brand. I did not find nearly as many reviews on it as I did for some of the others. Uh, the reviews that I found were good. They were good. Not great, not wonderful, but good. <clears throat> Talked about these. Oh, people are excited. A few people on the forum were excited to see this. Um, Marrakesh from and I almost bought this from my husband to impose my love for Marrakesh products on him and then I realized that he probably wouldn't care. I remember when this coconut sugar uh, body cream came out, people loved it. So I'm not surprised to see it out of stock. Here's more of that K-Beauty brand. Good, pro good reviews, good reviews. Not great, not out of this world, but good. This one, these products had better reviews than the other K Beauty brand in the red, red, red containers. <clears throat> People love the Mind Tan stuff. They say wonderful things about the Mind Tan stuff. Although this particular product confuses me a little bit. Workout ready. Maybe you put it on before you go for a jog. I don't know. Again, I I need to look out for staying in the sun because of the cancer. Oh, Wander Beauty. <clears throat> This has good reviews on Sephora or Ultra? Sephora. Yeah, here. Over four stars on Sephora. Something else I want to point out with reviews is if you search, sometimes the top hit is not the product's ratings, but this is... Um, the product but this is actually just a Sephora ad and this rating is for Sephora themselves not for the product so be careful don't don't get fooled. I the reason I say that is that I used to get fooled by that and then I learned so I'm pointing that out um, there's the Aquas hair turban if you were confused about there being another color, like a chevron pattern, gray and white, that is actually not available in the sale. It, I, it never popped up for me, but I saw on the forum that it was popping up for some people and they were having issues with it. 
um, that's not available in this sale. Oh, I've used this Grown Alchemist product. This is an okay body scrub. It's an okay body scrub. I have used body scrubs that I like better. Um, it's got a subtle pepperminty smell. It's very subtle to smell. The beads, um, it's not highly concentrated in beads. Um, it's it's a good one. It's a good one. I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest that you, I wouldn't say that you have to get it. Um, here's more Urban Skin RX that they also did the pumpkin mask that I talked about earlier. This also has great reviews. Their stuff has great reviews, a lot of them. Um, Wander, more, more Wonder. This also had good reviews, not as many good reviews as their facial oil I talked about earlier. Um, talked about Sinaj. I've talked about a lot of these. Uh, I've talked about a lot of these. Oh, I've tried a We Are Paradox. What did I try from them? A hair mask. Uh, I love the way it smelled. I loved it, loved it, loved it. The mask itself felt about as good as a conditioner. Um, and I believe I remember some of, a few people saying they liked this. This came out in a cell a year ago or so. And a few people tried it and said they liked it. I've never, I, I haven't tried that one. I don't really have an interest in it. I don't know why. Okay. I couldn't find anything on this one, so I'm a little surprised to see it out of stock. Maybe I missed something. No one said anything about it on the forum. Here's the e Volcano. It has a very interesting website. Um, but it, it, I would be curious to try this hand cream, though. It's a Sicilian woman who founded it. Oh. Cora's Wild Rose Moisturizer. That is not the, they have a Wild Rose Overnight Cream, so that's different. I liked the Wild Rose Overnight Cream, but my husband didn't really like the smell, and since he has to cuddle me um, <laughs> at night, he asked me not to use it anymore because he didn't like the way it smelled. Um, so I, I gave it to my sister. <clears throat> I thought it smelled great. Um, so this Marrakesh product, it's, it's a sea salt spray and some people complain about, you know, you use this on your waves. If you don't like what this, what the ocean does to your hair, I love what the ocean does to my hair, but my hair is curly. I don't really need a product like this, but I love the way my hair reacts to the ocean. So if you like the way your hair reacts to this kind of thing, then this could be good for you. But I did see a lot of people complain that they did, they didn't like the way it made their hair feel, it made it feel sticky and funny. Like they just got out of the ocean. So it's just really kind of how do you like the way your hair reacts to the ocean here this hey honey morning silk facial serum people really really like this this is a serum that you would get if you want something particularly that doubles as a makeup primer this would work really really well as a makeup primer it has silicones in the first uh, handful of ingredients so that's why if you are not looking for something to wear under your makeup and you're looking for something a little bit more um, natural and just straight up skincare, I would not get this. I would not get it if you're looking for that. It depends on what you're looking for, but look out for that. I did see a few good reviews about this on walmart.com. This is that company, again, that I talked about earlier. Um, I'm assume, assuming you've watched the entire video. Okay, that's it. That's the end. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was helpful. I know that usually my cart's a little bit more final. There were a handful of products that I haven't looked into yet, um, but I wanted to get this video out for you. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe and sane in this really, really strange pandemic time. I'm having to do gratitude practices every day because staying in is really hard for me and my mental health. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't do well staying in that this much. So um, I hope that you stay sane and safe and that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.